She lays bottom naked in the dark, fingertips tracing hearts on her navel the eve of her 16th birthday, and she is unable to move her legs. Rape victims never truly bounce back, never truly return to a place of peace in search of redemption, but who among us is paying attention, our attention? Eyes glued to the TV as MTV feeds us episodes of Sweet 16 parties for wealthy teenage girls. There is a teenage girl somewhere in this world playing hide and seek with her hunger pangs while these bitches complain that daddy didn't buy them the right colored Porsche or their dress just ain't fitting right. All hell breaks loose if it rains tonight. God forbid my party's a disaster. What are we after? Awareness or entertainment? Hypnotized by primetime shows and presidential statements of everything is alright, everything is under control, but trust fund children ain't having to feed their families by stripping their clothes to sell their soul, smoke screen the masses, entice their extravagant expectations, envy equals audience dedication, equals ratings for the station, equals advertising relations, equals consumer spending habits, the mathematics of television static, formulated to keep us distracted, got our young girls buying thousand dollar dresses, with credit cards issued by the bank of Daddy, I gotta have it. To what are we allowing to entertain our minds? To whom are we allowing to influence our daughters? Meanwhile in Palestine, she at the age of 14 uses her hair clip to pull out particles of shrapnel from the right leg of her father. Meanwhile in Mexico, she at the age of 7 uses ballerina slippers to outrun and hide from the flashing lights of Border Patrol. Meanwhile in China, she at the age of 12 uses her baby blanket to bundle up her clothes. With stuff and sold into slavery because population laws only allow one child per household. Meanwhile in Sudan, she at the age of 10 uses her Barbie doll's dress to banish the wound where her clitoris once was. Mm -hmm. Amputated by the men who believe it is ungodly for women to feel any sort of sexual sensation. When did we become a nation? So what interested in living our own lives do we entertain ourselves watching wealthy families live theirs? Oh my party better not be ruined. There are young girls whose innocence is being ruined, caught between teddy bears and abortion clinics, crayons and bomb shelters, fairy tales and rifle shells she never heard of coming, drunk and disordered, and with whiskey breath gives her the order, stay still and you won't get hurt, but it's too late for that, five minutes away from her 16th birthday, and he's ripping the pajama off her back, strikes a blow to her head, when she was three she used to believe monsters came from under the bed, now it seems they come from the bedroom down the hall, and mom Mommy is too far away pulling night shifts to hear her muffled calls, bleeding and bruising. He tells her to stop moving, losing her virginity and defeat. No parties are being thrown, only arms and legs are being thrown, thrashing into an imprint of a snow angel on the bed sheets. And now she lays silent in the dark, puts fingertip to navel and begins tracing hearts. The most painful wounds always run deep. And the clock strikes 12. She is 16. They can fuck MTV. Ain't nothing about this is sweet.